are some major aspects of what makes um, of what is on our page, right? So on our page, we have images, text, and color. So we have color on there, uh, and we have the images. Last thing is text. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for our heading text, which is what I'm going to use for my site name and for my uh, menu items and things like that. Okay, so basically, I'm just going to use it for up here. And then uh, if I want to put them on titles here, I can do that as well. All right, so here's the type tool, pretty obvious. You probably expected that. Then over here, you can choose um, your type. Now, one of the neat things that this has that Photoshop actually doesn't is that you can actually choose the kind of, of uh, font it's going to use here. Now, what you want to use for your type fonts is something that's going to draw the viewer in that's interesting. It wouldn't be good for large bits of text, but it's good for... Uh, small amounts. Typically you want it bold and thick and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and use this one just because it's right here. Um, so it's whatever that's called. Okay. Uh, and then I need to change. I'm going to control plus plus and I'm going to go ahead and put my extras back on and let's minimize this and I'm going to click on this and I'm going to add a new layer by clicking on this button here. That'll add a new layer. Um, that way I'm making sure I'm not in either one of these things. Uh, so I got my type tool and let me see, do, 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 regular is fine. Do they have bold? They do not. Okay. And uh, for the color, I usually like to do something that's just a really dark gray. Now you can do something where you do another color, but uh, we do an actual color, but generally speaking, you usually want to either do white or black slash dark gray. Uh, it's hard to make colors work. I have seen it a couple of times, but it's more of like a niche thing. It's hard to read colored text. Okay. So anyways, I'm going to uh, go ahead and put um, my site name right here. So I'm just going to click. And I don't know if that's the right size. So 24 looks a little bit small. Let's see if we make it a little bit bigger. So we'll say, let's say 32, because that seems like an even number. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and we're going to say um, uh, cones. Oops, not there. Sorry. 32. Oops, 32. Enter. And I still want it to be in here. So is that working? There we go. Cones. Cones. So it's cones. Cones is the name of my site. That looks great. And I'm just going to use my arrow keys. I switched to this so I can move it around, the move tool. And I'm just going to go ahead and center it kind of on these two, uh, on these three tabs. Okay. We're going to say it fits there. And then I want my menu items basically over here. Uh, and so I just need to think what I want to put there. I'm just going to go ahead and make another layer. Uh, and we'll just go ahead and we're going to use the same font still. And I'm just going to go ahead and put those up here. So we'll do, I'm going to click there and we'll do about. And that's obviously way too big. So I'm going to highlight it. And let's just make this I don't know, 18. Is 18 the right size? We'll say 18. And then I'm going to click on the select tool. And I'm just going to center it more or less in this column. And then we will do the next one. So I'll click in here again. And then we're going to do facts because everyone wants to know facts about cones. I'm going to click off and oops. And I'm going to move it up. If you hold shift when you click, uh, when you use your arrows up and down, uh, it moves it in larger increments. So I'll go like that. And then I'll click back on the tool again. And let's do another one. And we'll do fun stuff. I hear that exists. I don't know what it is, but I had fun once. It was awful. That obviously doesn't fit inside that column, so that was terrible. Uh, and then we'll just do another one. And we'll just say contact. And we'll just go ahead and put this uh, try to fit inside this column. So uh, not perfect, not even good, but that's actually all I really have to say about it. We're just going to go ahead and grab all of these and I'm just going to move them over so that they're um, aligned to the right side. And then this will be aligned to the left. Okay. And we're going to say that that is good for our heading fonts. Um, and then um, what we'll do now is uh, put in, oh, you know what? We could put um, our titles for our things here as well, which could be the same. Uh, but you know, I'm actually just going to leave it like it is. Okay. Uh, and then in the next one, we'll just go ahead and we will do our, um, our, uh, uh, uh our body text that's going to fit in here. Okay. But that looks pretty good. Uh, so, uh, yeah, do the next one.